question. I'm sorry. I think maybe I have drank too much beer to answer that one. <laughs> I'm not that smart, Coach. Uh, but I know we have a great team and a great car. And, and, you know, trying to break it all down as to why, what, how, where, when, I, I'm not real sure. I'm really not even sure how this race came together. There was so much going on. And, you know, like I said in the interview there, the, the yellow flag fell uh, right to the pit cycle and helped us get from eighth to fourth, which we really needed uh, to jump us uh, out of that little hole we were in. Uh, with the pit stop. So uh, then from there, it's just making the right move in traffic and executing the restarts. And uh, whew, you got to have a fast car, though. You, you know, in this sport, you're nothing without a fast car. My team, uh, gave that everyone at Team Penske did a great job there. But uh, then from there, you got to execute. And today, we were able to do that. Hey, yeah, Brad, whenever the playoffs change like they are this year, you've got to be able to evolve. You've got to be able to accept uh, the changes. And one of the changes is if you win a race, you are into the second leg after the first three races. How cool is it for you now to know uh, that you can kind of take more chances, I guess, because you're already qualified? I think it's not about you can take more chances. I think it's about having less stress. You know, let the next two weeks we can really uh, buckle down and focus on the next bracket. And uh, our guys that are uh, being pushed really hard, we can maybe crack the whip a little bit less for the next two weeks and give them a little breather. So there's some small advantages there, but uh, – if I can win the next two weeks, I'm still going to shoot for it. I'll tell you that. Uh, and from that side, I can maybe even take a few more chances, as you, as you were saying. Brad, congratulations. Uh, you drove like a champion today. And when I think about the, the ingredients required for a champion, one of, one of the ingredients is composure. And you showed that with roughly 80 to go, having a problem on pit road and having to battle back. Describe what was going through your mind at that point. Well, I was thinking I needed to salvage what was going to be a – 15th to 20th place day and somehow turn it into a, you know, a top five day. Uh, and we did, I think we did a little more than that. And, you know, that was where my head was at. And I'm thankful it all came together. Brad, I study the numbers hard. You, on paper, you look better than 2012. Your qualifying is ridiculous. Your restarts are excellent. You're racing with authority. You got a great crew chief. And with the exception of a few bumps here and there on pit road, you guys are solid. So tell me why you're not going to win this championship. <laughs> well, hey, you know, there's 42 other guys out there that are going to try and stop me, and uh, they're tough, too. And uh, you never underestimate your competitors. There were some great racers out today. I thought Kevin Harvick looked phenomenal. Uh, he looks like the guy to beat still. Uh, along with, uh, you know, the 24, he looked great. And the 48 and 88, they're right there, too. And so is my teammate. Uh, so never underestimate your competition. Uh, and, and they're still going to keep gunning. There's still nine long weeks left. Uh, you mentioned your teammate, Joe Elgato. He finished fourth today. Uh, Ricky said a few moments ago that he thinks you're a much better driver, uh, Brad, now in 2014 than you were in 2012 when you won the title. Do you think you're a better driver? I think I've had some tough lessons, and I think I've gotten a little better in some ways. And, and you know, on the other side, there's you know, more wisdom and all those other things. I'm probably just older more so than anything else, and the hits hurt more. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've got a great team. Uh, our team has matured. I've matured a little bit, and uh, things are just coming together very nicely for us. The Ford relationship, you know, when we were going for the championship in 2012, we were with Dodge, uh, and that relationship was, you know, falling apart at the time. And, uh, you know, the Ford relationship now is only building and getting stronger, and I think that's a key to our success as well. So there's a lot of factors. It's hard to pick one, uh, but I'm thankful to be where I'm at right now, Coach. So after you drink all the beer that you're going to drink tonight, uh, what's going to be the mindset tomorrow morning uh, after your headache uh, going into race <laughs> number two of the chase? Well, I think a couple different things. Chicago is a lot like Texas, and Texas is uh, going to be a very important race as well. So try and understand what we could do better uh, here today to run at, at Texas because I don't think we were the fastest car. I think the 42 and the 4 were pretty fast, and so was the 24 at the end. So we need to find just a little bit more and keep uh, progressing as a group. Uh, and then beyond that, going to win loud. You know, we won there in the spring, had a great performance, and uh, I'd like to double down there and make it three in a row if we could. Sounds good. Great to talk to you, brother. Uh, maybe we'll talk to you next weekend, okay? Great job. I sure hope so.